I thought I would show, uh, you know, I got a very uh, calm, aka boring channel. So I do a few uh, product reviews every now and then. Doesn't make it less boring, but it does give something interest. It might generate a few uh, people to view it along the way. And I do this anyway, so I might as well uh, take advantage of it. This is a universal wrench. Uh, don't give me any crap, so to speak, because I my, my standard tools are standard. Uh, you've probably seen several videos if you watched any of my videos. Standard socket wrenches, standard, standard impact wrenches, standard powered ratchets. Those, I understand, are tools that have passed the test of time. Probably got that right. In any case, this uh, universal wrench, uh, I also buy some oddball stuff, stuff that I have no idea whether it's useful or going to work, and I really don't care. Uh, you know, all tools can be valuable and workable within a within a within a range of functionality. The thing is, is that functionality good enough to make the tool a wise purchase? That's extraordinarily rare. In this case, this is a pretty good tool in that it show that it has an ability to handle uh, many many different kinds. Of, a, of socket or connectors. In fact, I think it shows it on the back. Hex, 12 points, blind, torque, square, damage, bolt, symmetrical, imperial, and more. Uh, don't know about the end more. We pretty much covered it all there. But it has these little, it basically is a, is a socket set uh, with, uh, with the, the universal socket set with a, Right, but I want to get these at discounts. I don't. I don't do this. I do pay pretty hefty for tools, but the tools that are more likely to be uh, toys, I don't always pay a lot of money for them. In this case, uh, I got this half off at a discounted addition to the uh, thing. So, what are these TV tools? And if, in any case, uh, this was a. Uh, it's pretty cool now. I've always considered this a a a a nice looking tool, but not exactly one that you would use in many, if any, occasions. A, a, it does have full socket viability, and it does have enough of a click or enough pressure so you you know you could turn it and keep the socket in position. Uh, and because of the odd the uh, way the uh, this universal socket wrench and effect functions. You've got a pretty wide coat selection of, of, uh, of sizes. Uh, in fact, you can see uh, the standard SAE on one side and then you see the metric on the other. Uh, so it, it, it can be useful, uh, you know, if you have the clearance. My traditional socket wrenches, uh, I will show you what they are. You know what a socket wrench looks like. Uh, uh, and I, I have another somewhat non-traditional one, the one that has the, uh, they call them low clearance, has the hole in the middle. I can't even recall what it is. I just use them. I don't, I don't, I don't always analyze them. Uh, those uh, are very good low clearance access things, at least about, I don't know, half an inch or three quarters of an inch, uh, the clearance of the sockets. Now, some of these universal tools, the ones uh, are dialed, so you have a, a socket path that either shrinks or, or increases. Now what that allows you to do is to have a lower profile. So that's the reason I have these. This one, I'm not sure how viable or useful it is, uh, but it's just, it's just something I'll throw in the back of my toolbox and there might come a rare occasion when, when uh, my, practice, my normal tools are not the most effective or perfect. Uh, uh, and then this might this might actually serve a purpose. The general edges around here that means that it, uh, it is adaptable to various types of uh, of uh, wrench work as long as it falls within these sizes it's got here. And it's a pretty good set of of sizes. Uh, you know, there are four on each, and there there are metric and of course SAE. So there's about eight different sizes. Of, uh, of connectors. 
And of course, torx connectors are weird, so you know you just have to feel around for what those are sometimes. In any case, I just want to give you a quick look at this. I, if I find a reason to use this, I'll, I'll actually show it because I do think that these tools are valuable in a narrow range. You've got to have clearance or or, or an oddball bolt in an oddball place. And this is extraordinarily heavy, so it's not exactly a tool you're going to wield. But uh, I've got a couple of uh, large gear wrench, socket wrenches coming in that are, that are probably considered to be as heavy or heavier. In the case, I want to give you a quick look at this. Uh, this is called the Universal Wrench, and it's one of those uh, uh, as seen on TV products. There are a lot of versions of this, and they range from, I don't know, you know, five, ten bucks up to thirty, forty bucks. I don't know the quality difference. Uh, they do. These seem to be screwed in with a Torx bit. These little, uh, these little uh, changers here. So it it does not look like it's going to come out that easily. So it could be useful uh, for a while. I, of course, I did not buy the high end forty dollar wrench because, as I say, I have a lot of traditional tools, and I just don't see. Uh, investing that kind of money in in this tool until I find out it is just extraordinarily useful for a task I'll be doing uh, relatively frequently. In any case, I'm going to stop right here. This is the, if you want to get this or this particular one, uh, I think uh, normally it's like 14, 15 bucks. I can't recall exactly, but I'll put it down in the info. Uh, you can sometimes get a deal like I'll get a deal, get them second-handed. Uh, and, uh, you know, because a lot of people are reselling these tools and garage sales, etc. I, I did buy the, I did have, get the one in the package. It's called the company's new Co. So, uh, all right, I'll give you a quick look at that. And then I will be back uh, with the uh, general uh, subject of this channel. The more boring parts of getting the van life and van stuff together. And I will uh, see you later.